Hello, Paul V. Mixquickums here, back in Windforge, episode 17, the town's about to be attacked, bad things are about to happen, and I don't really know how to deal with it, so what I think I'm going to do, I think the only thing I can do at this point is to go back to my ship and make it combat, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not even going to do that, I'm going to go and I'm going to get my other ship, the SS Noob, or whatever I named it, um, or the SS Pew Pew, and that already has guns and things of that nature. I'm going to get that as my currently docked ship. And once I do that, then maybe I stand a very small, very slim, very minuscule chance of actually surviving this horrible, horrible attack on Engelstrom. Alright, I would like to manage my ship. Please, give me the ship. Thank you. Alright, and we should have weaponry in it. And even if we do not, we are going to get the weaponry out. Because we need the ammunition. Wasn't there like, uh, yeah, artillery ammo? There we go. Alright. So that is going to be our course of action. And then maybe, just maybe, it's going to be enough for us to actually survive this. There's no way to be certain. There's no way to be sure. But it's a hope. It's a dream. It's about the closest thing to a plan I actually have at this point, so... Yeah, we're gonna roll with it and hope that it works out. Alright. Let's talk to Thora for hopefully the last time. And I apologize for the last episode, guys. There were distractions, I got all flustered, things happened very poorly. We already know what she said from the last episode. Oh no, the city's under attack. We're not prepared for this, help us. And everybody runs around in a panic. And yeah, ju bad Juju Magumbo does happen, but it's okay. You know why it's okay? Because I am Duncan Hines, 57, the most powerful non-SOC soldier to ever walk the face of the planet. Oh, also that. Hmm. Interesting. And it sounds like our sound is cutting out. Which is, oh, wonderful. Aha! Oh! Nope. 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 Door closed. Vehicle into the air. Uh, eh. Yeah. Please don't tell me I'm loading another area. What? Really? Okay. Well, that's a little silly. Apparently, me leaving was more beneficial than me staying. Ugh. This thing has so little propulsion, that's ridiculous. Stopping power just is not there. That's a sad reality, but it is a reality. Alright, door open. My ship has been anchored at the dock, whatever. I'm gonna go talk to Thora again. Fantastic, because that went so well for me last time. Alright, well, let's go talk to her once more, and we'll begin anew. So all I really had to do was escape. I thought I was supposed to actually stay and help. I thought maybe if I left, which I was trying very hard not to do, that um, the town would just get obliterated and while well, I'd fail or something. Nope, that's not the case. The SOC have retreated on behalf of Engelstrom. I thank you for helping us during the attack by running away and leading them away. That's what it was. I was their target, so I led them away from Engelstrom and then lost them in the loading screen. What? The SOC have gone too far. I can't believe they attacked the city. Zer Majesty, King Sigmund must, or has summoned us to discuss the attack. I suggest we make haste and answer his summons immediately. I would assume that he was going to say, must be outraged or something like that, but no, that wasn't the case. Alright. Well, we get to go deal with the summons. Zer Majesty, yes, King Sigmund. I have summoned you here because a crisis has befallen us. The SOC has learned that the government has been funding your research and has now declared war on the state. We took 
precautions to avoid getting caught, but it has come to my attention that a member of your team, Karen, has been caught spying on us. She is likely the one that told the SOC of our connection to your research. Now the SOC is demanding that the current government step down or they will continue their attacks. These are not acceptable demands. The SOC have imposed their rules and beliefs on us for too long. We will give them their war. I have already deployed our forces in retaliation. Winning this war will not be easy. Our military forces are roughly equal to that of the SOC. To ensure that we can win, we need an edge over the SOC. This is where you will play your part. From here on, I am charging the priorities... I am charging, I am changing the priorities of your research. You will now focus all of your efforts on obtaining the magnum opus of the Aetherkin. But we are so close to reaching our goal, and we don't even know if the magnum opus exists. Silence! Alternative energies are important for long-term well-being of the Empire. However, this is war, unless you want to fight for a prolonged war, or fight a prolonged war of attrition. We need a decisive advantage over them. The magnus opus exists. It was the source of the Aethican's power, and soon it will be ours. Now go back to your lab. I'll have someone deliver you the research I have collected on the Magnum Opus thus far. Well, that happened. Surprise! Alright, we're gonna talk some more. Yes, no, no, yes, maybe, no. You, me, me, you, you, me. Hello, guy. Wilhelm, so f war has broken out. And now we are researching a mythical object of unspeakable power. Ha! I should need about 200 blocks of sand for my experiments. Let me know when you get it. So we are seeking the Magnus Opus now. The Majesty's research on the Magnus Opus is surprisingly extensive. I can understand now why Z wants it. Apparently all of the wonders of the Aetherkin were created using the Magnus Opus. It's supposed to reside inside the Temple of Cordius. This temple is a mysterious structure located near the center of the world. The architecture and building materials of the temple are unlike anything we've seen. All known attempts throughout history to get inside have failed. However, there are all writings that a key can be constructed. Constructing the key apparently requires four ingredients named Albedo, Rubido, Centrintas, Centrintus? I don't know. Indigredo. Boy, this makes me want to go play um, Xenosaga all over again. Just saying. We actually have no idea at this point what the ingredients are. The texts are littered with symbolism and numerology, and we don't know if any of this holds any significance. We know their rough locations, though. I've marked the locations of the ingredients on your map. Of course, obtaining the ingredients will be more complicated than just visiting these locations. If you need more information about finding the specific ingredient, let me know. Tell me more about albedo. Albedo, albedo, is represented by the color white in the number one. It is the ingredient of purity in creation. Supposedly, it lies within the heart of the ancient whale Leviathan. Interesting. Leviathan is considered by folklore to be the queen of the sky whales. Stories are told of her being able to command the fires from the sky and maybe even gravity itself. Oh, okay. Centrintas, Centrintas is represented by the color yellow and the number nine. It is an ingredient of aging and disease. Not much is known about this ingredient other than the fact that it resides in the body of an unknown guardian in the temple of Centrintas. Darn it. When you find the ingredients, deliver them directly to our king. Z wants to personally handle the safekeeping of the ingredients. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shoot you. Uh huh. Stop talking. Stop it. Okay. Rubido. Rubido is represented by the color red and the number four. It is the ingredient of flesh, blood, and growth. The directions to find it are a bit puzzling. You are to find it, it uh, find an altar buried under an ancient well in Alderstein. Or Alderstein. Approach it with an object of solid fire and touch the altar. Unfortunately, we don't know what that object of solid fire actually is. Walter has a hunch, though. You should talk to him. Seriously, lady? Lady? And Negredo. Negredo is represented by the color black and the number zero. It is the ingredient of death and the void. 
It is said to reside within the Eye of Mammon. Although nobody has ever seen Mammon, there are numerous legends about her. She is considered to be the Queen of the Krakens and the long, or the age-long rival of Leviathan. Legends tell of her being able to control the forces of electricity and magnetism. Well, thanks for that. So, to obtain the ruby dough ingredient, we apparently need an object of solid fire. Out of all we know about the Aethercan, I think our best bet for this might be Firestone. This seems to make sense to me. In fact, I'm worried it might be too bleeping obvious. After you got captured, I started thinking of alternate ways to generate the heat we need to make Firestone. I, I occurred to me that certain high explosives could theoretically give us the heat we need. The problem is that the explosion would also break up the Firestone that we actually that we are actually trying to create. So then I got the idea to... Er, um, sorry, I guess I don't need to give you every detail. Anyway, I managed to successfully make some Firestone. Here it is. Keep it safe. It was really hard to bleep come by. That would be bleeping come by. Alright, I got a Firestone ingot. What? Alright, well, I guess things are now progressing somewhat more normally. Oh, that hurt a little. Alright, at some point I need to raid a bunch of trees and get some more fist nuts so I can not die. Also need, um... I kind of need my repair tool on my... That's kind of a problem, and maybe an oversight that the developers decided not to let me have that back. I kind of feel that that's important and I suppose there is the very real possibility that somewhere inside that horrible place that I was captured which I'm gonna go back to actually and raid um, yeah no I don't want to talk to you lady I'm so sorry it never meant to click on you I suppose it's very 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 possible that there was a place in there that actually had all my equipment, but there were so many people shooting at me, of course I missed it, right? I mean, that's understandable when you're getting shot at by many, many people with no armor on. That's right, armor on. And no, um... Well, no way of actually defeating them yourself. It tends to make things a little less... I don't know, I'd say friendly, um... Safe, healthy for you to stay around and, and search for your missing loot. So my only hope and guess and, I guess, mission at this point is to regain all the stuff that I lost. Because I am not super thrilled that I have none of my equipment. It makes me quite sad, in fact. And I am going to use this ship, as much as I'd prefer the SS Ugly for its speed. I have a feeling that speed is not going to be the key component to success right now. I think, um... Victory and murdering stuff is going to be more important. The elusive violet basilisk is feared throughout the lands, but its scales are highly valuable and they taste like cheese. Dirty cheese. I've got nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. One thing I do have, or I do know that I have, is... A crazy floating vessel that just... It's ugly. Like, the SS Ugly is hideous, don't get me wrong. This, to me, is even uglier than the SS Ugly, and that's impressive. Alright, let's take a look at the map. We're gonna hit this weird updraft thing, and then we're gonna go find that stupid castle in the sky, and we're gonna take it down. And it is not going to enjoy itself one little bit. Apparently people want to shoot at me right now. I suppose I'm not totally hating that, but I'm not super fantastically thrilled with it either. So, uh, kind of whale is this a normal whale? Hello, normal whale. You didn't know that whales barked, did you? Surprise! Barking whales, ladies and gentlemen. What's to come after that? Don't know. I honestly don't know. Couldn't say. Alright, we're getting pretty close to this horrible place. Uh, one or two more uh, 
upward dealies, and we should be there. So there's some pirates below me. Sky pirates in paradise, or some such nonsense. Digging faster by doing something and something about jackhammers. I got nothing. Alright, we're one away, I think. And then we shall reclaim our stuff, assuming it is reclaimable. I don't know for certain. This is one of those I really, really hope type deals. Alright. So there's this gigantic landmass here. It's really, really large. Alright, let's take a look on our map. It looks like we are indeed in the place where the prison of Tutankhamun or whatever it was is at. So let's see if we can figure out where it actually is. Gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Intended. The world is round. Who knew? Who knew? Well, I certainly didn't. I do have a small problem, though. I'm not finding the stupid place that tried to murder me. Oh, there it is. Oh, excuse me. Well, that didn't work at all. Alright, well, let's... I, I shot him like six times in the face. Didn't do anything. It's kind of weird. But either way... Oh, okay, there's a docking platform on this side. Excellent. Because I really want to get my repair tool back. Ooh. Thing here. Got a hunting rifle. Got some basilisk meat. Excellent, I guess. Turn into the whole basilisk meat fad, of course. It's sweeping the land. I, for one, am not, but I know people who are. That's right, you give me some handgun ammo and other. Oh, jeez. Really? Well, I am returning to the prison that has captured and stolen all of my equipment. I feel better for it. There we go. Oh no. Hmm. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. No, I did not. Sorry guys, I, I know I'm not really great at this game. I apologize. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Hopefully, hopefully my bullet dodging increases in skill because it doesn't always be a very, 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 very long and painful episode. Hello? Oh, okay. Sure, let's try it from this side. Why not? Two, four, and a good shot. Boom! Goes the dynamite. A lot of whale oil laying around here. I'm just hoping that all my equipment, all the stuff I had on me, is in this building somewhere. Because that would be very nice to actually have again. Somehow I have this feeling that that's not going to be the case. Call it a hunch. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Caught that bullet. What? Alright. Oh, as it stands right now, things are not looking super good. That reminds me, I did want to check something. Can I craft one of those things? A repair tool? So I can craft it. I don't really need to be here. Oh, I can craft it. Apparently all I need is some iron ingots. And then what's the dismantle tool? Is the other one? D, 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 D. Dismantle tool. Also iron ingots. So all I really need is 10 iron. And then I'm back. Well, nowhere near where I was, but... At least I can repair and fix my ship, so... Well, that's something. I guess that's a good thing. At least I know now, right? Door appears to be locked. Funny. Door doesn't appear to be locked to me. Oh, we can collect my gear. Oh, heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What? Equip, 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 equip. Weapons were already set, except for the steel hunting knife. And the magnum, of course. Alright, well that's good. I am so glad I found all that stuff. Oh. That's awesome. Got my repair. Good, I'm glad I came back here. I wasn't certain, but I was hoping. I mean, it would make sense, and then, well, it did, so. Good, now I'm going to murder everyone else in the entire building. So, please keep that in mind. is a price to pay for uh, crossing me, and they're about to pay for it, or pay it, I suppose, or pay for it, or pay said price. Alright, what are we looking at here? A lot of nothing. I don't know exactly the friendliest or the most lucrative place to be, but I suppose I get all my equipment back. So that's something. That is a something. Decorative, apparently. Well, I don't know. Things could be a lot worse than they are, I suppose. Things could be a lot worse. Got my stuff back. Saved Engelstrom by leading them away. Of course, that was all part of my plan. It was not a, a weird, poor programming design or anything. Accidentally patting away from the town will save it. Only you and anyone who accidentally does this can prevent the total destruction of Engelstrom. Well, aha! Give me some butterball, some healing balm, another random stuff. All right. Well, this is nice. Turned out to be not so bad. I'm getting some extra handgun ammo. I now have two grappling hooks, which I will store one on my ship. Or in my ship storage place, I suppose. At all times. And yeah, things will be looking really, really good. At that point, and hopefully we find something of value in this place. I don't think I like the fact that Karen or Karen has turned on me. That makes me kind of sad. I thought she liked me. <laughs> now I'm sad. Why didn't she like me, man? Why didn't she like me, man? Oh well, over it. Alright, let's see. Ooh, a sink and a bathroom. This is a really bizarrely dined. Really bizarrely designed and just completely weird, weirdly done prison, I gotta say. Oh, well that looks unpleasant. Maybe I shouldn't fall into the spikes. Or perhaps 
instead of not falling into the spikes, maybe I should do the exact opposite, because that too seems like a good idea. To everyone except for me, maybe. Alright, well, darn it. One of these silly things here. Really? Alright, no. Oh, so things could not get any better. And boom. Really, I missed the last shot. Of course I did. Well, I wouldn't. Alright. Well, we found our stuff. I'm not sure how you were supposed to get out of it. I think punching through the wall probably wasn't your best bet. But it's what I did, and hey, it worked, you know? I'm wondering if falling was supposed to be how you did it. Maybe a ship was supposed to come by and I just didn't wait long enough? I don't know. Oh, these guys are pleasant guys. Yeah, yeah, these are these nasty guys that murdered me last couple times I was here. Yeah, heavy machine gun ammo. What? Oh gosh. Whoa. Well, he doesn't look like he's having a good day. Tanky is guy in the game right here. My word. Ooh, that might be good. Let's check that out. Let's check out these clothing here. Mastercraft Steel SOC Plate Gauntlets. So 78 versus a 49. Why does that seem like... Oh, sorry. These are grease. These are pants. Okay, so... We're... Oh, yeah, yeah, by far. Yeah, 300 armor. What? And my green shoes. They're like ruby slippers, but... They're emerald ruby slippers. What? Does he make sense? Doesn't have to. Doesn't even have to make sense. That's how cool it is. Well. Alright. Come on. Come on, hand eye coordination. What is going on here? I think they might have changed it to you can't pogo anymore. Or I'm just really terrible at things in general. Which is true. We, we know this. We know this without a doubt. Uh... La la la. <laughs> ha. Yeah, ooh, Hearthstone ore. What is that? It's exciting to me. I'm not even sure what it is. And yeah, that's exciting to me. What? Alright, we got a shotgun, and we got some other random stuff. Yeah, this is like a temple in and of itself. Except it was a prison that held me and stole all my stuff when the cloud merchant turned out to be a bad guy. Or a good guy, depending on if you're part of the SOC or not. Well, there we go. I think our episode is starting to get a little long. We're going to have to break it off relatively soon. We're not quite ready to do that just yet. I have to shoot Baldy down there. And by shoot, I mean fall next to and scare to death. Which was, of course, all according to my plan. My masterful plan of pain, death, and suffering. Except for all of those things. That was actually not part of any... Uh, none of that was part of my plan. But, if it were, it would have been a great plan. Alright. So, onward we go. I am hoping to finish up Blackguards relatively soon, guys. And then start up the new games. That's the plan. That is the plan. I can't jump through the hole. I mean, this is ridiculous. Alright. There we go. Mission accomplished. Hole jumped through. Victory is minus. Meh. 
Alright, what do we got now? Let's take a look. Um, we got some Cloudstone SOC Plate Armored Boots. So, yeah. Our Emerald Scale Titanium Gangsta Boots are 34. Our Cloudstone are 66. And they have Anti-Gravity. We're going to go with that. Sorry, Green Shoes. Holy cow. That's amazing. Love me some anti-gravity boots, let me tell you. Pretty awesome. Yeah, how's that feel, huh? You liking that? Are you enjoying that a little bit? No? Can't say I blame you. Can't say I blame you. Oh, hello. I will say it makes things a little bit more. Ooh, a jackhammer recipe. Ooh, really? Really? Well, that's exciting to me. Let's see. Do we. Let's start getting these recipes learned, man. Jackhammer recipe book? What? I'm going to have to totally look that one up right now. J, 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 J. There's a hammer drill. Jacket and jungle pants. Jungle pants, huh? That's what we're bringing. Jungle pants. Jackhammer. Ooh. I gotta get some whale oil and some. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of whale oil laying around. I don't know if I can actually capture the one of those things. Like, this place is loaded with whale oil, oh my goodness. Like, literally jam-packed with whale oil. It is so laggy, guys. One of the things I really, really, really don't like about the game is the amount of just sheer, unadulterated lag this game produces. In places you wouldn't think it would produce a lot of lag, but it is... Eh. Again, the game is fun, but there's a lot of little things that could be done slightly better. Like, I like the crafting system and all the options that it gives you and what you can craft and... All you really need is a recipe. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I really, really like, and then there's other things that I just do not like at all. Really? Certain to see people in places that there are none. Huh. Ooh, we've got some Firestone ingots here. Oh, and there's something else to search. Excellent. Whoa. I jump high with my anti-gravity boots, I tell you what. Alright, some fist nuts. Excellent. Whee! Some Vulcan steel ingots. I'll get all sorts of stuff. This is amazing. Alright, well, let's take a gander around the place. I think we've pretty much covered it all. The place does seem to be a bit larger than I was initially anticipating. I don't even remember how I got into the place to be. Aha, there is a place I missed. Excellent. By excellent, I mean drat. There's more to do. Alright, well seems at this point I need to make a new doorway. That's not a doorway, man! That's just a pathway! You, you know, you're not helping. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm getting all schizophrenic-like and multiple personality-ish. S-E-I, I got nothing. Either way. I can't hit anything. I'm terrible. There we go. 
Yay. I'm a hero. Yeah. Give me your pantalones. See how laggy that was? Oh, I'm sorry. For that. Some, some Vulcan steel ingots. Excellent. Excellent. I think we're over encumbered. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, we just got some new uh, armor too, I believe. Pantalones were the way of way of it. Um, I thought I saw pants. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was just one of these silly jacket things. Eh, oh well, doesn't matter, guys. All right, I think I might even log out here pretty soon because there's not much left. Just kind of right here. It's like the last little bit of this. So there's not much left to see. A helium recipe book. Pretty sure I already know helium, but it's fine. Ouch. And there's just... That's really about it. So... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I've done everything I needed to do, so we'll escape from uh, this prison in the next episode, as we've done before, but this time with our own ability to fight and all of our equipment. So that's going to be kind of a, the agenda for the next episode, and then we'll go see if we can start finding like the albedo, the rubido, the negrito, and all the other goes and guz and other things of that nature. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I, I don't know. I've been hot and cold with the last couple episodes. I have not really enjoyed myself tremendously. I did get distracted quite a few times on the last episode. And it was something that shouldn't have happened to be distracted by. It was one of those things, hey, on Thursday we're going to do this. Okay, and then the person goes, hey, it's Wednesday, let's do this. Uh, well, we already decided on Thursday. Oh, well, I'm going to be doing something on Thursday. Very briefly, you're going to be doing something on Thursday. You did more today than you're going to be doing tomorrow. Eh, it doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Either way, it was a minor inconvenience and annoyance, and it was something I had to do in addition to what I'm already doing. I have a very limited time where I can actually record episodes, guys, so it, it's frustrating. But it is what it is, and I've gotten through it. Uh, the whole Engelstrom not being able to defend it and then flying away was weird and silly, and the fact that I reloaded before the attack, everybody's running around. So there's a lot of minor glitches and bugs in this game, guys, and I'm finding more and more lag issues. If it does keep up and it becomes to the point where it's just unplayable, I may end up having to call call a close to my Let's Play. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to try to trek forward through it, try to bang it out, try to get it done. The story isn't uninteresting, it's just, well, like I said, the glitches really, really hinder the gameplay. So, either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I will catch you guys in the very next one. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.